Smith & Wesson's line of M&P rifles has established a great name. People love them, and they have a brand new one. Now, Paul Pluff, you and I have been talking about this for a while, and we've been looking yeah. for it, and now you have it in 308. Yeah, I'm pretty excited about this. This is our MMP-10, not the MP-15, but our MMP-10, right. chambered in 308. Okay. One of the, I mean, the first thing that comes to mind is because you and I both shoot from the correct shoulder, that That's is right. the left, left side. Hand side. This is totally ambidextrous. Absolutely, and you can see both on the right hand and the left hand side, you have all your controls. You have your, your bolt release, um, your magazine release, and also your safety lever. So it's totally ambidextrous, left-handed or right-handed. And that's one of the best features about this gun. Uh, some of the other things you can see about it, uh, you know, chambered in, in, in 308, but we utilize a, a one in 10 twist, okay. along with what we call five hour rifling, which helps uh, reduce the fouling on the gun, but also enhances the accuracy. Okay. Um, and you also see here, we have this patent Smith & Wesson flash hider, uh, that if you look very closely, you'll see the little it actually pushes some of the uh, exhaust forward. It does. It pushes the uh, it pushes the gases and the sounds forward of the shooter. Right. What that ma mainly does is eliminate the the secondary flash that you normally get with flash hiders, so it's even more effective. It might even be just a little less loud, if you will, than some of the flash hiders or, or brakes out there. Absolutely. Okay. Uh, you got the, the standard adjustable stock. It just has a six position car stock on it. Okay. Now you've got some variations here. We do. Uh, you know, one of the things that we do is we have a full line here. So what you'll see here is uh, what we call our state compliant for those states that do not allow a flash hider and it requires a fixed stock. This gotcha. has a fixed stock, uh, you know, no flash hider, 10 round magazine. Uh, down here we have the California compliant, which simply has the bullet button on there. Gotcha. Adjustable stocks. Uh, and one of the nice features that we also introduced at this time, just because of the nature of the uh, the caliber is we do have our hunting version here in Max AP camo. Okay. Look at that. And, and uh, basically, it's all decked out uh, with the Magpul fixed stock. Yep. Okay. Uh, optics ready. Uh, Comes with a five round magazine. Five round magazine, which makes it legal for hunting. And the neat thing about this stock is if you pop this open, you have a nice little spot to carry some extra stuff oh, in there, whether it's extra rounds or if you want a drag rope or anything like that. Sure. So it's ready made, ready to go for hunting, uh, and it is quite a hunting gun. It's called the MP10. In 308, it's available now? It's available now. Gotta love it. When I first saw this Smith MP10, I was excited about it. Good to see another 308 AR in the market. But a lot of times those 308 ARs are pretty heavy. And this one, you notice immediately when you pick it up, it's not that heavy. They've trimmed some weight from it, which makes it perfect for hunting. This one, I set it up for hunting hogs. We've got the ATN thermal uh, optic on top for night hunting for hogs. And when we do it, we typically spot and stalking. So we're having to go across a field two, three, four hundred yards. And as we go, you gotta lift up the gun and check where the hogs are still, because it's dark if you're not wearing night vision. So you may do this for a while as you get close enough to get a shot. So I appreciate that they've trimmed some weight from this. This is obviously a gun made for hunting, whether it's hogs or anything in your area.